Hey everyone and welcome back to another Bisect Hosting server tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're going to go over how to transfer player data on a 7 days to die server. First, we're going to log into our Bisect Hosting games panel and choose our 7 days to die server. Next, we're going to choose the red stop button to stop the server. We are then going to go to the file manager tab and we're going to go to the dot local folder, then share folder, then 7 days to die, and finally saves. In this folder, you will see all of the worlds in which you have saves for. So you'll have Navis Gain, which is the default, and then you'll have any other folder that might have a different map that you're using. Go ahead and choose the map that you're wanting to download the player data from. We're going to just choose Navis Gain. And then the next file is going to be all of the saves on that specific map. We're just going to choose my game. Then we are going to open up the players folder. Within this players folder is going to have all of our player data, and we want to download all of this. So we're going to go in the top left corner and choose the select all button. And at the bottom, we're going to choose the archive button. This will archive all of these files into a folder. And then we're going to right click that archived folder and choose download. Once you have that downloaded, you can go ahead and delete the archived file in this folder. Now that we have the save file downloaded, we want to transfer that to a new save on our server. We're going to go back to the saves folder. And we're going to choose the world in which we would like to transfer the save to. So again, we're going to choose Navis Gain for our example, but choose the map that you would like to change this to for yourself. And then choose the save in which you would like to transfer to. So we're going to choose New Game. Within this New Game folder, we are going to look for a player folder. If you do not already have a player folder, that means no one is connected to the server and you need to create that file now. To do so, choose Create Directory and just type in Player and choose the Create Directory button. Now we can go in the player folder and we're gonna choose the blue upload button and upload that downloaded file from earlier. Once that archived file is uploaded, we're gonna right click it and choose unarchive. Now we have all of the player data onto the new save that we would like to transfer to. Now we can go back to the console, start our server, and we will have the player data transferred to our new save. If you have any questions, check out our knowledge base, bisecthosting.com slash KB or you can submit a support ticket on our website. If this guide was helpful, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe for more content like this, comment down below which guide you would like to see next, and we'll see you around.